Welcome to the Tech Mill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. And Wednesday, we found out that the U.S. economy grew at a moderate 2.1% annual rate in the third quarter, and that the pending home sales, which measures signed contracts, fell 1.7% in October month to month. Thursday is Thanksgiving holiday in the U.S., so we won't be seeing much activity from the greenback as almost all Americans will be enjoying Thanksgiving turkey dinner with their family and friends. However, from Switzerland will get their GDP for the third quarter and from Germany will get their consumer price index. Today, I'm looking at the euro Swissy pair. This minor pair bottomed out back in September but its bullish momentum has been choppy so far. It's been performing and uh, forming higher lows below the Ichimoku cloud and so far has had at least one failed attempt to find long-term bullish momentum after breaking above the daily Ichimoku cloud. The pair broke above the daily Ichimoku cloud again last week and so far has been supported by the upper band of the cloud. Now, yesterday, I looked at the Euro-Dollar pair and I identified a potential bearish momentum there. But here, the euro Swissy pair, we have a potential bullish momentum. This means that the fate of each of these Euro-Cross pairs may remain in the quote currency's hand. In other words, if the Swissy keeps getting weaker across the board, we could see the Euro Swissy bullish momentum gain track. I hope this made sense. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about your Swissy and your dollar. And don't forget to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I will get back to you with more updates tomorrow.